Nairobi City. From a distance, all is calm as people go about their routine. But even as all goes on, crime in this Kenya's capital is taking different dimensions literally as armed robbers masquerading as motorcycle riders terrorize city residents day in, day out. <laughs> the cases are so bad that even the police are falling prey to the criminals. Last month, Parkland's OCS was shot and fatally wounded by thugs as he flagged down a motorbike within Parkland's area as he and his officers were patrolling the area. The men on three motorbikes had robbed and shot a businessman of an Asian origin and as the senior officer went to respond to distress call, the thugs attacked him and rode away. Wednesday the 21st this month, the thugs on motorbikes were at it again, this time in Kariubangi area in the outskirts of the city. The robbers attacked a man and robbed him of his valuables, but the man raised a lamb and luckily there were officers patrolling the area. And as they tried to stop the suspects, one of the criminals drew a gun, but the officers were fast and shot him dead. Motorcycles are everywhere and they are swift enough to move criminals from place to place. Sometimes they're using even uh, small pathways, which maybe motor vehicles can use. They are swift enough even to ferry criminals away and also to bring them to the scene, even during odd hours. I think a role should be put in place to manage these motorcyclists because they have become a security threat. They are the ones now used uh, by criminals because of their swiftness, because of their, their easy to manage to the scene and also to leave the scene. These are just but a few cases that have been reported and with the rising cases of Boda Boda attributed attacks in the city, Inspector General of Police David Kimayo ordered that all Boda Boda operators should be through with their businesses by 6 p.m. every day. When somebody just come with a directive, like uh, the Inspector General came with a directive to say, say that Boda Boda should operate from 6 to 6. I mean from, uh, yeah, from 6 to 6. He should have consulted us so that we can also share our experience. We did a spot check to see if the directive was being adhered to, but what we found was a different case. At about 8 p.m., the Boda Boda operators are still confidently going about their business. At some point, we come across this motorbike that had been hit by a bus along Tom Boyer Street, causing heavy traffic as the operators demanded to be compensated. According to CBD Boda Boda chairman, police have thrown a blanket condemnation to all the riders as thugs, arguing that they know those who engage in crime among themselves. We are not thieves the way people think. We are not muggers the way people think. We are different. We are genuine business people in this field and we like people to come and see. We joined the officers as they patrolled and arrested those going against the directive, which the police say, though it is not a law, it is a matter affecting security and has to be followed to the letter. According to the law enforcers, the criminals have resulted to using motorbikes since it's an easy way of escaping. And though not all are involved in criminal activities, some have colluded with thugs to drop and pick them as they commit crimes in various areas within the city. Motorists are being cautioned that if a motorbike tries to overtake you, be cautious and don't slow down. Where else, those using the motorbikes to commute to different areas always ask questions before you hop on to a bike. Always remember, security begins with you and I, and being a little cautious always pays. Michael Njenga, Citizen TV, Nairobi.